Hi friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see about the answers for NPTEL course on cloud computing, week six, assignment six. The due date for this assignment is March 8, 2023. So let's explore the answers. First question is interception is an attack on. So the answer for this is option C, confidentiality. Second question is, which of the following are the recovery goals of the security mechanism? So as far as security mechanism is concerned, the recovery goals are, the, re the recovery mechanism has to stop the attack and then it has to assess and repair the damage. And then even if it, if there is a, even if attack succeeds, it has to continue to function correctly. So the correct answer for this is option A and option D. So detect attackers violation of security policy and uh, prevent attackers from violating security policy is not the recovery goals of the security mechanism. The next one is third question, replay attack, which is the passive capture of a data unit and its subsequent retransmission to produce an unauthorized effect is an active, active attack. Yes, it is true. The answer is option A. Fourth question is, Statement one, authorization is the identification of legitimate users. Statement two, integrity is the protection against data alteration or corruption. So they have given four options. Authorization is the identification of legitimate users. This statement one is false. Authorization is whether an operation is allowed by certain users or not, whether an operation is allowed for certain users or not, identifying that is called authorization. So statement one is false. Statement two is integrity is the protection against data alteration or corruption. So statement true is true. And you have you also have confidentiality with this nothing but checking about the loss of privacy. So statement two is true. So the answer is option B. Option B statement one is false and statement two is true is the correct answer. Question number five, which of the following is not a passive attack? So masquerade, option C is denial of service and option D is modification. All of them are active attacks. So passive attack is uh, release of message contents. So they have asked which is not a passive attack. So masquerade, denial of service and modification are active attacks. They are not passive attacks. So the right answer is A, C and D. In full virtualization, VMs interact with the host operating system. True or false, they are asking. So in para virtualization only, VMs interact with the operating system. So this is false. The answer is false. In full virtualization, the hypervisor interacts with the host operating system. Next question, when selecting the most suitable cloud provider satisfying the customer's QoS requirements using a fuzzy interference engine, if the degree of SLA satisfaction is greater than the threshold for a cloud service provider, the customer should migrate to a different provider. True or false? The answer is false. Because if the degree of SLA satisfaction is less than the threshold for a cloud service provider, then only the customer should migrate. Eighth question, which open source tool is used to perform TCP connect probes in Amazon EC2 platform? So here, there are four tools which are given. Nmap tool, Hping tool, and Hping tool is used to perform TCP SYN trace routes. Okay, so wget is used to identify web is used to get web resources. Nmap is the right answer. Nmap tool is used to perform TCP connect probes in Amazon EC2 platform. So the right answer is option B. Nmap. Question number nine, recovery point objective is the maximum amount of data that will be lost following an interruption or disaster. They're asking which is true and which is false. So statement one is true. Recovery point objective is the maximum amount of data that will be lost following an disaster. Statement two is recovery time objective is the amount of data that will be lost following an interruption or disaster. Recovery time objective is the period of time available for recovery following a disaster. So statement two is false and statement one is true. So the right answer is option A. 
Question number 10 is list the motivation in having a middleman or intelligent broker for cloud marketplace. The motivation options are given. The answer is trustworthiness of the provider. Yes, it is a motivation. Monitoring of services. It is a motivation. Ensuring vendor lock-in. This is not a motivation. Flexible selection of cloud provider. This is a motivation. So, so the right answer is A, B and D. So that is all with Week 6 answers for cloud computing. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.